Welcome to New York. Thank you. I was, it was such a blast when I heard you were coming here. I said, maybe we can be on the show and I, I don't have to go out to L.A. It's awesome. I know. I love it. I love coming here, too. We came here last season and opened up uh, Premiere Week, and we loved it so much. We did it again. And the city is really back in a big way now. Since I know. You You're a music fan. We know this because you've played music with us before. Yeah. So do you get out? Do you do shows and all that? Uh, I, you know, my my band, we try to get together. And, you know, the COVID's been very difficult. We're going to, I think, rehearse in another week for the first time in over, oh, wow. a, over a year. But I love live music. I mean, that's mm -hmm. part of the, one of the gems of New York City is going to hear live music. Yeah, and you can hear it everywhere. Literally, I've spent the whole month here, and I've been in Central Park, and everywhere you go, there's a different style of music, different musicians playing. It's so cool. I yeah. love street musicians on the subway. You know, I know. Sometimes you'll be in the subways, and guys will break out an acapella. Yeah. Uh, you know, doo-wop stuff, and yeah. it's just so cool. Um, well, I heard that NBC, actually, I love this, they rejected you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> that you wanted to be a part of the they, news, right? They did. I just happened, because we talked about this, I just happened to have a copy. I of, love this. A copy they, and you, you, of the letter. You have like five billion shows now. Okay, this is uh, this is dated. See, so you have the old NBC logo on it. Uh, oh but anyway, um, it was from August 11th, 1977. I was three months out of high school, and I sent my, I wanted to be on radio. I sent my tape and a resume. Anyway, I get this, uh, Mr. Lester Holt. Dear Mr. Holt, thank you for your interest in WNBC. I was impressed with your credentials. However, it's not exactly what we're looking for at this time. Good luck with your career. Yeah. Good luck? Thank you for that good luck, because it really, really worked. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, that's amazing, though. And I, I love that you share this story, because a lot of people get deterred. Like, a lot of people think American Idol was my first thing I ever auditioned for. And I've been turned away from... There was like a thing called pop stars that got turned away down, down from the, uh, many things that you get turned down from, and you have to keep going. Yeah. I just think it's such a great story for people to hear from people like you that have had so much success. It wasn't overnight. Like it, you have yeah. to keep. There's many it, doors it slammed in our happen. faces. It rarely happens overnight. You just have to have that resilience, that sense of you know figure out you know why yeah. you know why it was a no and how to turn mm -hmm. it into a yes next time. Yeah, I love that. Um, well, you just earned a couple big honors. So tell everybody about that. That's so cool. It's yeah, so we cool. won the NBC Overall Excellence, the uh, Edward R. Murrow Award, and yeah. also for NBC Nightly News, which we're incredibly proud of. You know, we work yeah. really, really hard on that broadcast every night. It's, um, yeah. you know, we have to bring it. Um, and it's just nice to be recognized, you know, by your peers yeah. uh, on that level. <laughs>